Okay, so for the next one, we're gonna do this t-shirt. Uh, it's a lovely t-shirt, I love it, but I want to do something funky with it. I have this other green shirt that I think I might have eaten some salad with it because there's a little bit of oil marks that I can't take out. So it's only a couple of marks there, but the rest of the t-shirt is fine and it's a beautiful t-shirt fabric. And I also have this other one and the neck, the neckline is overstretched and I don't like the way it fits. But the fabrics are beautiful. They are lovely cotton, soft cotton. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make a patchwork with the three of them. I'm gonna cut half of just below my bust, half of the t-shirt down. And then with the half of it, plus these two, I'm gonna make a peplum for the bottom. Okay, so here we are. This is my t-shirt, a measure, and it's about 22 centimeters from the armhole that I need to cut. That's the t-shirt. I'm gonna put this away for now. And now I have only these bits and these two t-shirts. So I'm gonna start chopping off. Um, as, I, as I mentioned, this shirt has a, has some marks, I don't know if it's clear in camera, but I cannot wear it. So I'm gonna try to not avoid this section, but cut the rest of the t-shirt on stripes and uh, go ahead and um, do the same thing with this one and start my patchwork. Right, so I'm just gonna make some cuts of different widths. The way I make the peplum is by sewing these pieces of patchwork together, the different colors, making a long, big tube, and then attaching it to the t-shirt. I attach the peplum by finding the middle of the tube of fabric I just created, attach it to each side of the t-shirt, then finding the middle of that part of the peplum and the middle of the t-shirt and put it together. And then I carry on finding the middle of the peplum and the t-shirt and putting them together. Eventually, I am left with very little fabric that I have to some kind of pleat. I could have just done a normal ruffle, but I prefer the look of the pleat. So this is how the peplum looks like. I'm going to stitch it first with a zigzag and then I'm going to stitch it to the t-shirt. It looks a little bit loose. Maybe when I took it off the t-shirt, it got a little, some of the pleats got a little bit loose. So I need to measure it before I put it on. But yeah, that's what it looks like. It's kind of cute. <laughs> just a lovely sweatshirt material very rich in cotton it's about like 80% cotton it's lovely but boring so I'm gonna do one cool up cycle with this and this isn't that cool it's a lovely viscosa fabric with this cute little gold flex spots I'm gonna make some cool sleeves for my jumper so let's go the jumper turned out to be too long for me so I have to cut three inches off the bottom I then cut the sleeves open and remove the sleeve from the top
my um, overlocker is out of function. I need to fix it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch, I'm gonna do the side seam of the uh, sleeves with a French seams. And the French seams is very easy to do. First, you stitch the wrong size together. Then you cut the seam as close to the stitching as possible without cutting the stitching. I stitch and trim the seam. And now, you turn it right and in, and then I stitch it again, like that. Okay, so the way I have set the sleeve is, I put the, the inside seam, I match it to the side seam, and then I start pinning all around flat. I start pinning the sleeve all around. So when I get to the middle here, so the center of the sleeve is matching the shoulder. So basically, you pinch the fabric that is left to make a pleat. You pinch it and fold, make it forward flat towards the armhole and the same thing with this one it's already folded and then just pin it here and so now the shoulder looks really nice with a box pleat in the middle see looks really nice so all the extra flap fabric is pinning here and it will fall nicely on the shoulder I want to make the sleeves very voluminous with a pleat on the shoulder and gather on the wrist. I attach the original cuffs to the new sleeve. The, the way I do it is similar to how I did it peplum. Um, I keep on finding the middle points of both the cuff and the sleeve and matching them and I keep on doing that until I run out of fabric. There, there are many other ways of doing this. I just like doing this because I like the way it looks once it's been sewn. I think it looks a lot nicer. What do you think? I think the sleeves are fun, like really fun. I'm very happy with it. Yeah, I think I might put the ribbing because I think it's too short without the ribbing. I can't, I cut um, about three inches of the top because it was way too long. So I might put the ribbon back on, but in terms of the big thing that I really like was the sleeves and uh, um, I'm really happy with the result. It makes the top much more fun to wear. I'm really happy.